Say something, Mom. I say something. <laughs> Come on, let's get started. Ready to start. I've got to make sure I don't knock it accidentally. So do you want me to sculpt them or put, put plastic tips? You don't want to leave this length? I want, I'm going to do them longer. How much? Very long. How much? Five times that length. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. No, five times the length. Why? Because very many. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, here. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Too long. That's how I'm going to do them and then we can cut them at the end. I might like them. <laughs> oh, my lovers, you asked and I delivered. Here is a video of me doing mum's Halloween nails. And I am actually just prepping her nails using my e-file and a fine sanding bit. And I'm just zooming over the surface, removing the shine, because I will be sticking tips on her nails. And the tips I'm using are from Nails by Sarah Burchett and they're the stiletto tips. So once I've finished prepping mum's nails, I'm going to glue on the tips and continue from there. So how do you want me to do your nails? Do you want me to stick on plastic or sculpt them? For me, easier plastic. No, I don't want you to be easy. <laughs> you want to make my life hard. I don't like them. <laughs> and look what that. This elbow needs to be there. How can I twist it around? Not that much. There. <laughs> She's already starting her antics. Okay, so now I need to move on and start applying the tips to her nails. And I did have a little bit of trouble because her nails do curve downwards. But mind you, even though it looks like an easy process now with the voiceover, in real life, in person, this is what it was like. An absolute nightmare. Take a listen. You can't be serious. Nobody can have these long nails. It has a hole. All right. It's too small. You know my nails aren't flat. They've got curves and stuff. Mm -hmm. Give up. Put more glue. No. I love, I love Miguel and the girl. Push it down. Push it. Push it some more. La 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 la. Jolie, Jolie. Please take me, man. That doesn't look good. So what color you gonna paint them? Black. 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 For Halloween. And then I'm gonna have black nails. Yeah no yeah okay so i'm finally up to the acrylic application part and mum absolutely loves this cover pink which i'm using it looks nice and thank goodness for that because i don't know if i could handle any more of her whinging about the color of her nails so as you can see i'm applying the acrylic on the entire nail in the one bead method i like it oh that's the way uh -huh, uh -huh, i like it but obviously my bead was not big enough so I need to go back in with a smaller bead of the same cover pink acrylic and place it on the tip and blend it into the nail. And as I'm working on mum's nails, if you take a look at her, she's got an eye on me too. A very close eye on me. <laughs> nice. You approve? Mm -hmm. So far so good. Shall we leave them that long too? No. I won't be able to do anything. I won't be able to do my zipper. Or do my button. I'll get one of the work mites to come and do my button. When I go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, the long nail life is not for everyone. And it's not quite practical for most people. But they do look stunning. I absolutely love long nails. And I love creating art on them too. Now I'm going to basically finish off all of mum's nails with this cover pink and yeah let's see what's in store for me now. This is nice. This is not nice. I'm concentrating. Can I have a look now? No. Why do you put more? Why are you not speaking? Long, 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 long. <laughs> ah, la, 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 ah, la, 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 <laughs> la. <laughs> <laughs> ah, la, 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 long. 
Gonna start. <coughs> do you want water? Yes. See, do you even have to feed me the water? What's there? What's there? It's just a little black thing in the porcelain. I have to inspect. But with this hand, it's harder for me to watch. <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> she's really, really trying hard not to lose her patience at this point because she's suffering from boredom. But yeah, she's not doing too well. And mind you, I'm almost losing my mind as well at this point. <laughs> so I've managed to move on to the finish filing part of this um, nail appointment. And I'm just using my 180 grit file to shape the nails into a beautiful coffin shape. And then we can move on to creating some black gel polish and skeleton finger nail art. So the skeletons you're gonna do? Yeah. When you say skeletons, you mean scalps or you mean skeleton? Bone. As if your fingers had bones through here. And maybe a skull. <laughs> you can see she's not too impressed with that idea. So I've gone ahead and applied a base coat on all her nails to make the application of the black gel polish by Madame Glam a lot smoother. And what colour going to be the, uh, the, uh, the bones? White. What colour are bones? Lol. I just can't decide if I'm going to do them 3D acrylic so it's raised or painted on with paint. Do you prefer it to be flat? Yes. And that's it. You're not going to stick anything else on it? Maybe a couple of Soroski. No! What, uh, if they did, they don't need Soroski, mate. If they have bones only. What does Soroski have to do with anything? So how many coats are you going to do two. that? That's right. As always, I do two coats of colour, curing in between each. But for this design, I need to do a matte top coat and I'll be applying that soon. Patience, please. <laughs> yes, a lot of patience is required when working on mum's hands. So here I have applied the match top coat and now I'm just removing it with some isopropyl alcohol. Not removing it, removing the tacky layer. And now I can get started on creating the skeletons on mum's nails. To create the artwork, I'm going to be using gel paints by Wildflowers. And this set has taken me so long that if you notice outside, it's actually dark now. And both mum and I are exhausted. All right, cook that one for me. Give me this one. With this close up here, you can see how I am painting on the bones. I have sectioned the nail into three. And I'm basically painting on simplified versions of what bones look like. And there's a lot of flash curing going on in between, so I don't end up smudging any of the artwork which I do, especially with mum, because she can be a little bit clumsy sometimes. <laughs> oh, if you do every nail two times, I bloody got to bed 12 o'clock. Yeah, well, good thing you start late tomorrow. No, thank you. <laughs> she's completely fed up and wants it to be over and done with, but now she's putting the pressure on me and I can't handle it. So I'm, I'm trying to speed it up, but it's not working to my favor. Now that I've moved on to the pinky, you can actually see what I've done with the ring finger. And I've just basically created a blood drip French smile line on it. And later I'm going to add a skull face to it as well. But take a look at mum's face and the expression on it currently. <laughs> she is 100% over it and I think I am too. Yeah. So after shoving her hand in my face to finish off the design, I am painting the skeleton on her ring finger just above the blood drips and I'm using white gel paint to do it. I'm using a reference photo so I can get the anatomy sort of right. And I've cured the white layer and now I'm going in with the black shadowing and some grey shadows as well. 
and just blending it all in so it looks starts to look like a scary skull with each color that I add I do cure the layer prior so I don't get any more blending of the colors and once I'm happy with the design and it's ready for completion I give it a full cure in my LED light all of the nails will get a no wipe top coat by Madame Glam and then this set will be ready for reveal and here is mum's completed full set of Halloween nails. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button to let both mum and I know that you enjoyed it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out a video. But that's it for today's video, my lovelies. I do hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye.